so in this uh, the third connection the cascade connection of two port network we are going to discuss so the cascade connection so you know that the two networks are connected in the structure that is the input voltage the external input voltage is applied to the first network the output of the first network is given as the input to the second network okay and the overall output we are taking from the output of the second network this such connection is called as cascaded connection okay so if the two networks are connected in cascaded connection means the overall parameter of this two network is nothing bad so this analysis it can be solved using transmission parameter okay transmission parameter that is abcd parameter so the overall abcd parameter of this two network it is nothing but a multiplication of abcd parameter of this network and abcd parameter of this network so that is the case so you know if the two networks are connected in series means the z parameter value of the two network must be added if the two networks are connected in parallel means the y parameter of the two network must be added okay if the networks are connected in cascade connection means the transmission parameter of the two network must be multiplied okay so this is the thing in the three interconnections okay so let us derive so how it is possible how this uh, we have to prove this statement okay so here uh, you just consider the transmission parameter of the first network n dash is a dash b dash c dash and d dash and the transmission parameter of the second network it is uh, a double dash b double dash c double dash and d double dash so the overall transmission parameter of this cascaded connection it is a b c d okay a b c d over here you know uh, the input voltage v1 is applied to the uh, input terminal of the first network okay so this is v1 this is the current i1 and for network uh, n dash nala the voltage uh, we have to mark it as a v1 dash and input current is i1 dash so over here the v1 is equal to v1 dash and i1 is equal to i1 dash okay so the output of the first network you have to mention as a v2 dash and the current is so the current direction is minus i2 dash okay and this v2 dash is applied as a input to the second network so v1 double dash must be equal to v2 dash okay and the current i1 double dash must be equal to the minus i2 dash so similarly the resulting output v2 it is nothing but v2 dash okay v2 dash so for cascade connection we have v1 equal to v1 dash v2 dash equal to v1 double dash and v2 equal to v2 double dash similarly the currents are i1 dash equal to i1 and i1 double dash equal to minus i2 dash minus i2 equal to um, i2 dash okay i2 double dash how to write so for the network n dash the transmission parameter equation so you have to write down the transmission parameter and all the parameter you have to put one single dash similarly for network n double dash you have to write the transmission parameter so you put a double dash okay so the overall transmission mm -hmm. parameter of the cascaded connection can be written as so uh, we have to write uh, the first thing you have to take first these two equation so in this equation the v1 dash and i1 dash v1 dash what is v1 dash it is v1 what is i1 dash it is i1 so instead of this left side term we have to put v1 and i1 so we have to write this two equation in the form of matrix so v1 i1 can be written as that is v1 dash i1 dash equal to a dash b dash c dash d dash and v2 dash and minus i2 dash okay this is the thing then instead of this v2 dash and minus i2 dash we have to put something you see what is v2 dash v2 dash is nothing but v1 double dash minus i2 dash is nothing but i1 double dash so instead of these two you have to put v1 double dash and i1 double dash so what is the value of this v1 double dash and i1 double dash you see these two equation so these two equations are v1 double dash and i1 double dash so instead of this v1 double dash and i1 double dash we have to put these values so this is a 1 2 by 2 matrix multiplied with these two values so this is the thing but from this these two this is the transmission parameter of first network this is the transmission parameter of second network so uh, multiplication of the two network okay so from this we reduced the input voltage v1 and i1 can be written as 
the overall transmission parameter into output voltage output current okay but from this if the two networks are connected in uh, cascaded connection means the overall transmission parameter is nothing but a multiplication of the individual uh, transmission parameter okay this is the thing okay so so we uh, that's all this is the cascaded connection of two port network okay we proved so then we are going to see the problem okay so you see the first problem uh, two identical section of network shown in figure connected in cascade so calculate the transmission parameter of the resulting network so here this is the one two port network so similar to this two port network two two port networks are connected in cascade so the question is find the overall transmission parameter of the network okay this is the thing so that's why so first one we have to write down the so we discussed this problem already uh, in this uh, a b c d parameter section so we have to find out the value of a b c d for this two port network first okay so using the same procedure uh, first we have to the step number one is we have to make i to zero so by making i to zero we have to calculate the value of a and c in second step uh, we have to make v to zero so by making v2 equal to 0 we have to find out the value of b and c so from this we calculated the four values uh, a b c d is 2 3 1 and 2 okay so our question is two identical networks of this figure connected in cascade okay this is the thing this is the first network the same network is connected once again so what is the overall parameter of this two network means so as per definition the overall transmission parameter of this network is nothing but a multiplication of the first one and the first abcd matrix and second abcd matrix okay so here the two networks are identical network identical means same networks okay so 2 3 1 2 and 2 3 1 2 so you just multiply this two matrix so this is the answer for the overall parameter of this abcd matrix okay so similarly the second problem determine the y parameter of overall network considering two such networks are connected in parallel okay so here one network is there so the problem is we have to determine the overall y parameter of uh, two such uh, networks are connected in parallel so you know if two networks are connected in parallel means the overall y parameter is nothing but a addition of y parameter of the first network and y parameter of second network okay so already this problem we solved in y parameter matrix with a different value okay so we have to solve so as per that is a for a single network we have to find out the y parameter so we have to write down the y parameter and using the kcl equation and this thing uh, we calculated uh, the y parameter values so y11 is 5 by 3 y12 is minus 4 by 3 y21 is minus 4 by 3 y22 is 5 by 3 okay so the two networks are connected in parallel means the overall y parameter it is nothing but the addition of y parameter of individual network so y overall equal to y11 dash plus y11 double dash okay so the same value you just add to two times okay so the answer is 10 by 3 minus 8 by 3 minus 8 by 3 and 10 by 3 okay so this is the network so similarly Uh, if the two networks are connected in series means we have to solve it in z parameter method okay z parameter method so these are all the interconnection of two port networks okay so there are three types of interconnection series series connection parallel connection and cascaded connection okay so the three interconnection series parallel and cascaded okay so series means if the two networks are connected in series means uh, we can use z parameter method okay we have to add the z parameter of the individual network we just add add that is the overall thing okay if the two networks are connected in parallel means we have to use the method y parameter method okay so we have to add the y parameter of the two networks okay and the third one uh if the two networks are connected in cascaded structure means you have to take the transmission parameter okay transmission parameter in cascaded connection means uh, so in the previous thing we are adding but in this thing we have to multiply we have to multiply the transmission um, matrix of the first network and second network okay 